Today is the day everything changes. What have I done? I won. I used my Logos power voice to raise the Atlantis Grail Monument, but instead I blasted open an ancient buried secret. And now I stand in the largest arena in the city of Poseidon, amid the stadium wreckage that I've caused, held in the arms of my beloved Asin, while the nose section of an ancient starship juts forth from the broken ground. The shocked spectator crowds have grown momentarily quiet. They're full of confusion, still under the influence of the imperial compelling voice. I, on the other hand, have not been compelled, but I have been stopped and silenced by the enormity of the consequences of my actions. The stunning things that Asen Cassiope, my imperial bridegroom, has just told me are ringing violently in my head. Unbelievable, impossible things implicating his father, the Imperator, my future father-in-law, in a dark plot, an intricate scheme presumably to prevent an alien invasion, although the grim details and causes have yet to be unraveled. That includes Asen's father sending the deadly asteroid on a collision course to destroy Earth a few months from now. The Imperator is responsible for so much. But then, so am I. Because of my actions, the ancient Ark ship that had been lying dormant for thousands of years, buried underground, has been activated somehow. And now they will come. They, the mysterious ancient alien enemy of both Earth and Atlantis. After all that's happened today and over the past four weeks, the violent insanity of the games, the relentless uncertainty of my every living moment, this knowledge comes as a heavy blow. I feel as if I've been punched in the gut. My God, I've caused all this. I continue to whisper, even as Asen tightens his embrace and stares into my eyes with loving force. I caused this. If, as you say, they can track this ship, they will come because of what I did. Let them come, he repeats fiercely, a hard smile on his lips. Together we'll handle them, Imam Revu. Look at me. Do you hear? Yes, I nod, but the word comes out without conviction. I glance yet again in the direction of the imperial box among the audience tiers, where Rumhutat Cassiope, the Archaeon Imperator of Atlantida, stands looking at me like a dragon. Our gazes meet. Or maybe he just never stopped watching me.